guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, in honor of us having been in Sydney for almost a full year, which is totally crazy, I cannot believe that's a thing, I wanted to talk about 11 things you should know if you're thinking of moving to Sydney. Number one. One of my biggest concerns about moving to Sydney was the spider situation. And I have to tell you guys that spiders are really the least of your problems in Sydney. The cockroach situation is real, okay? I did not know. I did not understand. I had no idea, but cockroaches are a thing here. They can get pretty big and they just will not die. They do not die. Seriously, they will not die. They won't die. To be honest, I actually would take a cockroach over a spider, so it's all good. But I did not realize how many cockroaches I would see once we moved here. If you are afraid of cockroaches, Sydney might not be the place for you. Number two. Driving on the left-hand side of the road is really not that scary. I think that before we moved here, I had it in my head that it would take my brain a really long time to adapt and I was a little bit worried about potentially getting in like an accident or something. I've never been in a car accident before in my entire life. I've never had a speeding ticket. I mean, I've never... So I was a little bit concerned about that and when we first moved here, I did ask my husband to do most of the driving and I kind of just started out slow just driving around the neighborhood and then slowly started adding like surface streets, arterial streets and then eventually the freeway. It's really fine. It was really fine. Um, it's not that scary. I feel like you adapt really quickly and it was really, really easy for us to get our driver's licenses here. Very easy. We were in and out in under an hour to both of us to get our driver's licenses here. So driving on the left is not scary and obtaining a driver's license in New South Wales is a really really easy process as long as you've been driving for uh, some time. Uh, we have both been driving for 12 years at this point so really easy. Number three, making friends is actually really challenging. <laughs> I'm good at making friends. I mean, like, I'm good at making friends. I'm naturally okay with putting myself out there to meet people, but, and you know what? This did kind of, because of the pandemic, it was made it way harder because the people here are really, really friendly. It's not me and it's not the people. It was just, I don't know, circumstances when you're working from home. I've just found it very, very challenging to be able to get out and make friends. It can be done. It took a a lot longer than I was expecting. Number four. And if you can hear my dog, I apologize. He's chewing at my feet. Number four. Some things here have different names and you may or may not make a fool of yourself the first time trying to find that item. And that's okay. I think Australians, from my experience here, when, I, when I've called something by the wrong name, they've either been very, very confused or they have I thought it was funny. So I can work with either of those emotions, confusion and funniness. So a couple examples, cilantro in the US is called coriander here. Bell peppers in the US, capsicum. Here, propane gas, LPG, there's more. Those are just the first three that I could think of, but there's more, trust me, there's more. Number five, winter is real and exists here. I don't know why my husband and I both thought that winters here would be really mild and it wouldn't be a big deal, but we were cold. Winter is cold here and it doesn't help that most of the homes do not really have insulation. So we found ourselves to be very chilly throughout the winter and the winter seemed to last forever. I'm hoping next winter will be a little bit easier since we'll kind of have a taste of what it is and we'll know and we can prepare. But we just, we had no idea. I mean, I truly did not expect it to ever hit freezing here but it did. So winter is a thing here and just know that going into it. The darkness of winter is a thing here. Winter is a thing. Cannot stress it enough. Winter is a thing. Which leads me to number six. Something that I think would be really helpful to know before you move to Sydney is to mentally prepare yourself for the opposite seasons. So especially if you're coming from the Northern Hemp, well, 
This only applies if you're coming from the Northern Hemisphere. I grew up where Christmas is cold and snowy and dark. It gets dark at five o'clock and that's just life. That's what it is. And you know, summer's June and July and August and it's beautiful and the days are long and it's great. Obviously, it's that's totally the opposite here. So Christmas here is hot and the day is long. The sun doesn't set until after nine or like nine o'clock or so, some like really late. I mean, can you imagine having Christmas day and the sun is still up at 8.30 at night? It's wild and it definitely made it feel not so much like Christmas last year but again now we know and hopefully this year we can embrace it more. June and July and August here is dark and cold and it was really hard for me to see like my friends and family in the US having their summer and it being warm and beautiful and long days and it just felt to me that I was never <laughs> never going to see summer again because you know like mid mid july to me is like perfect summer nights and mid july here is darkness and cold i i do think and i knew that before we moved here but i think it would have helped me a lot more to really like embrace it and remember and prepare more mentally for that number seven public transit in sydney is actually pretty good comparatively. If you are moving to Sydney from London, lower your expectations. If you're moving to Sydney from Seattle, you are in for a treat. We have found the train and the metro, which is a driverless train system, to be so efficient and so great. We mainly only took the train for the first few months that we were here. Uh, just getting into the city and getting out is so much easier on the train. My husband takes the metro and the train to work every day. It's just easy and efficient. If you miss your train, a new one will be there in like eight minutes or seven minutes. It's so great. We have not really tried the bus system here, but we've heard good things about it. So public transit here, we give it two thumbs up. We really like the public transit here. Number eight, everything's really expensive. It just is. That is the way of life here. Cost of living is high. We have just found that everything here is more expensive. And I think we've kind of adapted to it now and we're kind of used to it and we don't have sticker shock as much anymore. But that is just something to keep at the front of your mind if you're moving here. When you get here, things are gonna seem crazy expensive and they are, and there's no way around it. Welcome to Australia. Number nine. Everyone looks good here all the time. I don't know about you, but when I lived in Seattle, I had no issues rocking up to the store in my leggings and like a sweatshirt. Would not dare to do that here. Absolutely not doing that. You go to the shops here and people are like full on dressed, makeup, they look great. It's like, okay, I, I really just needed to grab some milk, but I guess I'm gonna put makeup on and make sure my hair has been washed and make sure my clothes are clean. I mean, I guess your clothes should always be clean. Make sure my outfit looks good. There is no rolling out of bed and going to the store here. No, madam, absolutely not. I mean, obviously you can. Obviously you can, but why does everyone have to look so good all the time? Seriously, the bar is set. I was not ready for the bar to be set. I wasn't. Number 10. Things like getting a credit card here is very challenging. I feel like in the US, you barely have to do anything to get a credit card. They want to give you a credit card. They here, no, no, no. It is like an intense application. I can't even get one because I don't have a steady like Australian dollar income enough to show banks that I can make credit card payments. Never mind that I have amazing credit history that's all in the US. It's madness. And it was so frustrating when my husband was trying to get his credit card here. I mean, it took days. Not like the physical mailing of the card. That also took days. But just trying to process this application took days. When you move here, just anticipate that the process of getting something like a credit card, Lord knows buying a house, buying a car, I'm not there yet. That process will probably be super involved too, but that's just the way it is. So just know that because we did not. Finally, number 11, the bird situation. The bird situation in Sydney is ridiculous and that's fine. We love birds. I have no issues with birds. I'm not afraid of birds, but holy bananas. The noises that come out of the birds here are beautiful, melodic, stunning, ear piercing, shrill. The magpies swoop in the spring. 
The rainbow lorikeets are always in pairs. I'm going to insert some photos for you here and show you some of my favorite birds. Rainbow lorikeets. We love the cockatoos. Kookaburras are incredible. I love them. We see them on our walks all the time. Magpies are terrifying. There's little minor birds here that we love. I, the birds here, it's so cool and loud. So we also live in a shire. We live in a shire out just outside of the main city. So we do have more wildlife here than you would say probably living a little bit closer to the city. I'm sure there's some leafy suburbs that the birds love. They really do love our shire and I love them most of the time. But if you are afraid of birds, good luck. I hope those 11 things were helpful to you. I was trying to pick some things that other people hadn't necessarily touched on to give you a little bit better look into what it's like to move to Sydney. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I said, and I will absolutely do my best to answer those questions just based off of our experience so far. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to keep up with us and learn more about living abroad in Australia.